Hi everybody, it's a beautiful day in North Texas and I'm out in the garden. I think it's about 75 degrees. Here's my puppy sunbathing. This is little Marcy. And we are just finishing up a project for my solitary bees habitat. Um, what I did here was I went to Michael's and bought a couple of these crates, very inexpensive. I think they're about $8, maybe a little less if you use the coupons they give you. Got some logs out of my wood pile. Uh, these are probably a year or two aged logs, so they were really easy to drill. Um, I peeled as much bark off as I could because it made it a lot easier to fit into the boxes. Went in nice and smoothly. Uh, I just stacked the crates. I didn't attach them because it's so heavy. I don't think it's gonna be a problem. I can always go back later and attach. And then I used some cedar fencing for a roof, water runoff, probably not the most preferred materials as it is a natural insect repellent, but I'm hoping because it's on the roof, it won't bother them. Um, then what I did was I got some of these long drills, drill bits, excuse me, drill bits, and I marked on them, I don't know if you can see with the marker, six inches. And that's how I knew how far down to go into the logs. Uh, that's the optimal depth for mason and leaf cutter bees, which are solitary bees. This big one was really hard to use, so I just really used these two. Um, leaf cutter bees, from my understanding, tend to prefer the smaller holes, whereas the mason bees like the larger holes. Uh, so anyway, I did that and then the last step is getting these little bamboo pieces, which I ordered off Amazon because we don't have any bamboo on the property, but if we did, I would probably just cut down some reeds, dry them, and cut them into segments. Um, so if you have bamboo, that's a great repurposing. Um, of the, and then I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna fill in these spaces and hope that I get some solitary bees to come to my garden. The reason why am I doing this, going to all this trouble? Well, uh, solitary bees, something people, I just learned myself, are 95% better pollinators than honeybees. I was actually considering getting some honeybees just to pollinate the garden. Uh, you can see I put all these flowers in here to attract bees. But after doing some research, I realized I did not need to go to that trouble. I uh, just need to make my garden friendly to solitary bees. Give them a place to nest and put their babies. Give them water to drink. And these are, I, I posted this actually in another video. Um, these are just solar panel. This one actually blew off the fence. Solar panel, like you can see when I cover it up, <laughs> it stops. When I put it back in the sun, there it goes. It's really a very inexpensive, convenient way to make a little fountain. Uh, you can make a bird bath. I did this for the bees. I put some clay in these little sake cups that I don't use. Um, stuck them in here. Make sure you have some rocks that are above the water level so the bees can land. This is a habitat, bee habitat I bought off Amazon last year and when I did not know what I was doing and I had it in the shade, which the bees don't like the shade. They really want to be in facing morning sun. You can see I still got a couple to lay their babies. One, two, three, and then four that have yet to come out. So I'm hoping now that I have mine placed correctly in the sun that I will get a bunch of solitary bees to nest there. Uh, once they nest and come out, they really don't travel very far from their nests. About 300 yards is my understanding. So I'm hoping if I keep it comfortable for them, they will hang out and pollinate. Um, honeybees get the pollen on their legs, whereas mason and leafcutter bees get it all along their underbellies. So that's why they're so much more successful at uh, pollinating. So anyway, there we have it. There's my garden. We just had a big rain and uh, 
Everything's looking great. It's amazing what rain. Like these guys, these okras were kind of laying flat, looking pretty sad. And they have just all bounced back up. And everything looks happy. Anyway, if you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. Bye-bye.